to a small boy growing up in North Central Minnesota, just a few miles from Monticello, living on a farm outside of Foley, Minnesota. My brother and I had the privilege of getting up each morning and going to a little country school about two miles away. At this country school, there was a little teacher, about five foot three, and she taught all the kids in grades one through eight. Now, I don't remember very much about things that she taught us about reading, writing, and arithmetic, but the thing that has stayed with me through these past 35 years is the fact that every morning at nine o'clock we would stand and recite the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. Now, 35 years have come and gone since those days. And as I think back upon that little school teacher who had such an effect upon me, because each and every day that she stood to recite the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag, she had tears in her eyes. Now, I wondered for 35 years why that was. Perhaps she lost a father in one of the great wars, or a brother, or an uncle. As I was growing up, I didn't realize what a great privilege and pleasure it is to be living here in America. I've been to Mexico many times. I've been to Canada over 50 times. I've been all over the Pacific Basin, to Taiwan, to Japan, to Hong Kong, to China, to Singapore, Manila. I've been all over Europe several times. I just returned a week ago from London, England. And as we visited those graveyards of American soldiers in Brussels and Belgium, for as far as you can see with your eye, you see those silent white crosses of hundreds and thousands of our ancestors who died for us, that we might enjoy the freedoms that we enjoy today. Now you can go anywhere in this world, and you don't have the democracy that we have here, the free enterprise, and all the other freedoms that we take for granted each day. Now I know what it's like, because I see people in schools who won't stand, and recite the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag, who won't sing America, and who spit on the American flag as it comes by in a parade. I don't want to be associated with this type of movement. I love this country. I would give my life for it. Now this flag has been everywhere. It's been all over the world, certainly. It's been to the moon. It's been to the far off spaces of the universe. And perhaps if it had the opportunity to tell you and I what it's been through, maybe we would be more appreciative of the sacrifices that it has gone through. Life isn't easy for any of us, especially this day and age. And sometimes it takes great courage to live from one day to the next. It's taken great courage for this flag to live for these several hundred years, and it'll take more courage in the future. Perhaps this flag, if it had the opportunity to talk, would say something like this. I am your flag. I was born on June 14, 1777. I am more than just cloth shaped into a design. I am the refuge of the world's oppressed people. I am the silent sentinel of freedom. I am the emblem of the greatest sovereign nation on earth. I am the inspiration for which American patriots gave their lives and their fortunes. I have led your sons in a battle from Valley Forge to the steaming treacherous jungles of Vietnam. I walk in silence with each of your honored dead to their final resting place. Beneath the silent white crosses roll upon roll. I have flown through peace and war strife and prosperity, and amidst it all, I have been respected. My red stripes symbolize the blood spilled in defense of this glorious nation. My white stripes signify the burning tears shed by Americans who lost their lives. My blue video is indicative of God's heaven under which I fly. My stars cluster together, unify 50 states as one for God and country. Old Glory is my nickname, and proudly I wave on my honor me, respect me. These 
defend me with your lives and your fortunes. Never let my enemies tear me down from my lofty position, lest I never return. Keep alight the fires of patriotism. Strive earnestly for the spirit of democracy. Worship eternal God and keep his commandments. And I shall remain the bulwark of peace and freedom for all.